boy. Here's a bit going. We're on some paranormal. We're going to be reading some stories. So tell me your paranormal stories. Let's get into it. <coughs> Happened to me when I was a kid. Be me. Be seven. Live in an old Victorian house. The place has some history, but not too spooky. One night I'm sleeping in my bed. The street light from outside my room illuminates my room. It casts some shadows, but nothing out of the ordinary. Never does it cast shadows in the central part of my room as there is an empty floor space. Wake up in the middle of the night, develop this feeling of being watched. Notice a large humanoid figure in the middle of the bedroom. Cannot see any light from the street lamp through the back form, the black form. Never seen the shadows cast this shape before or after this night. Proceed to stare at it for 10 minutes before I'm calling for my mother out of fear. She can see it. I eventually go back to sleep, not sure fucking how. Other unexplained stuff would happen around the house too. We moved out a year or two later. I grow older and forgot about it. I grow older and forgot about that night. Fast forward five years and I'm talking about paranormal experiences with my mother. I remember what happened to me and tell my mother about it. She looks at me curiously and tells me she maintained contact with the buyers of our old home. They claimed to have brought a medium to our old home and claimed it was in fact haunted. Gave me shivers when I found out. I don't know what to believe, but it explains some other strange occurrences around the house too. <laughs> How the hell you have this large black figure like that could be a grown ass man standing at the center of your fucking room dude and you're just like ah i'm going to sleep i'm i'm be slump dude right now no 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 that does not happen p7 it's about 10 p.m on a saturday me and my friend are playing with legos at his house his mom is in the living room with us we played around for a bit and started to hear the dog outside barking. They lived in the middle of nowhere, so his mom looked alert. It's when her dog yelled and yelped in pain. His mom shot up and told us to get to the back of the room. She went over to a nearby gun safe and pulled out a shotgun. She runs over and turns off the lights. We see her silhouette aiming a shotgun at the front door. We heard the door unlock. She lived alone with her son, so no one else had the key that she knew of. There was a staircase that led up to the living room. We heard footsteps creak against the boards. Then I saw a silhouette with yellow eyes. I remember the air being cold. She pulled the trigger and boom. It vanished. She turns on the light and nothing is there. Walks down the stairs and the door is still locked. Opens the door to the outside and the dog is barking from the noise of the gunshot. I'm unable to sleep that night. To this day, every time I visit her with my friend, I feel uneasy when I see the patch of mixed matched drywall from the hole she put in the wall. Exploring abandoned warehouse. <coughs> I've been here a couple of times. Kind of been there, done that. Not a ton to see anyways. I've always been too spooked to check the basement because it's dark. None of my friends are into exploring, and I don't want to do it alone. So I decided to check it out anyways. Shining the flashlight about, it's big and dark, the floor is wet, and the space is mostly empty. I see a small glow across the room and shine my light over. I nearly have a damn heart attack when I see this homeless guy sitting against this big metal freezer thing. Just chilling on a dirty ass mattress looking at me with his phone in his lap. I've seen him upstairs a couple times before, only talked to him once briefly, but he seemed pretty chill. He raised his hand in that sup kind of way. I do the same. I walked over the freezer. It's one of those room-sized ice cream ones that you see in schools. It's all tagged up, so tell Hobro I'm about to take a minute, and then I'll go. Don't go in there, man. <laughs> Whatever, bro. I step inside and shine the light around. It's mostly just more graffiti and empty space, except for a little hand card in the corner. Some wet rolls of insulation. Suddenly, it's like all the air is sucked out of my lungs. 
I drop to my ha uh, hands and knees, trying to catch my breath. I feel around with one hand and grab the flashlight. I look around and I can't find the door that was just right behind me. It's like the room is spinning. I can't find... I can't... Fo I feel around with one hand and grab the flashlight. I look around and I can't find the door that was just right behind me. It's like the room is spinning and I can't focus on anything. There's a deafening sound, hard to describe, like it's loud, but inside my own head. I turn around on the floor and see the door. So I crawl out on my hands and knees. Cobra is still sitting there, turns and looks at me with wide eyes. I told you, man. But get out of there and don't go back. The whole thing must have taken no more than 10 or 15 seconds. Me, nine years old. Wake up around three o'clock in the morning. Feel something walking on my bed. Also hear something like something is flying above me. I can move. But I obviously didn't do it because I'm too scared. The little me has the most brilliant idea ever. I start growling at the autistic fuck I am. Something replies with a deeper growl in my ear. There's only a wall on that side of the bed. Who? Who? Who we?